client ed is on the table. The earlier film demonstrated uh, the challenges he has with gait. And we noted that the right lower extremity points out significantly. He doesn't have any internal rotation. I can get him to neutral only in all efforts to move it forward. It feels like a bony block. On the left side, I can rotate internally to about 25 degrees. There's a soft end feel. Um, ankle mobility is limited to neutral on both sides. He does have subtalar mobility. And I'm the cameraman. Let me step back and rearrange the camera a bit. Okay. He did have a left total knee replacement. He did have rods placed in both femurs because he was in a very severe accident 30 years ago. There's no posterior glide mobility through the left femur, whereas I can take up the slack on the right and I can have some force transmission through that. The pelvis is extremely rigid on both sides. There is no pelvic side glide in either direction. When I try to take up the slack in a rotational manner, it takes up so very quickly and when I put a normative amount of force, there's no give. On the right side, same thing, I take up the slack and then I attempt mobility and, and it is constrained. There's a little bit of give there and it feels, it feels um, somewhat helpful when I push on that side. When he's on his stomach and I do all manner of spring testing, force transmission through different bony parts of the pelvis, I get no movement whatsoever. And the sacral tuberous ligament is very, very taut. It feels like bone. And the question is, can we change this structure at this stage? Uh, we can only try. Uh, he also is very rigid at about T3, third rib on both sides, and at the upper body of the sternum, right here, there's no give, and on the manubrium there is give, okay. The upper cervical spine is in hyperextension. The, the pattern in the pelvis uh, reflexively creates rigidity at the T3 segment, T3-4 and the third rib, and it also induces hyperextension in the upper cervical spine. As I try and lift his head up with a reasonable amount of force, there's no give at all because the OA region is in hyperextension. Now if I flex his neck a little bit, I can lift it up easily. And can you just get an appreciation for how much force I'm using to lift your head up? Just just be aware of it, okay? I'll try. All right. So I'm going to put your head back down, and now I'm going to try again. How much force am I using compared to a while ago? More. More. And I can't lift it up. So this hyperextension pattern up here will possibly reflexively release if we can gain mobility through the pelvic structure. And... Uh, I'm going to stop filming here. I just wanted to capture a couple of areas in the body that are quite rigid and uh, see if we can change some of that. Thank you.